Hello guys, I just finished watching the final trailer of Squid Game Season 2 frame by frame and I found out 20 hidden details and easter eggs that I would love to talk about right now. You see that woman? Her actual name is Gyu Young and she is 28 years old. It has been rumored all over the internet that she is going to be the love interest of Sang Gi Han. She will play a very significant role in this season. By the look of the coat, you can basically anticipate that this man is the famous salesman of every Squid Game challenge and that means he went to Gyu Young and invited her into the game. Over here you can notice Detective Junho torching at a black coat on the hangar. And here you can see some plans sketched on the whiteboard. And that makes me wonder that Detective Junho probably broke into the archive room of the Squid Game compound on the island. Because the signs on the glass in South Korean says restricted area and keep out. As you can see the pink guard is escorting Sang Han into the limousine. The front man was not inside the vehicle. He was talking through a piggy speaker which was never seen in season 1 of the show. When Sang Gi Han says that he wants to be included in the game, he wakes up inside the Squid Game compound and that means he was escorted to the compound using this limousine. For some reason, I have a feeling that this woman might play a very mysterious role in this season. The way she was looking at the camera, it doesn't seem like she is going to be an ordinary player in this game. In season 1, Il Nam was shown to be the most enthusiastic player in this game and by the end of season 1, he turns out to be the founder of Squid Game. And right now, this woman also seems to be surprisingly enthusiastic about the challenge and it's making me feel like she might be related to Ilnam in any way. If you look into the back of the ground, you can basically notice that very few people actually died in the red light green light challenge. But in season 1, almost 40% of the participants died during the first game. And it kinda makes sense to me because Sang Gi Han is the only person who knew about the game and he probably played a very significant role in saving the lives of other participants. When everyone else was standing on the line, this guy from the back just pushes everyone to the ground to be killed. And that event works as a great evidence that he actually wanted as many people as possible to get eliminated so that he gets a higher chance of receiving the prize money. And this behavior of him kinda reminds me of Sang Hu who was shown to be staying behind other competitors so that he doesn't get killed easily. You won't get caught if you're behind. Somebody else. Over here you can get to see this man convincing his mother to stay in the game so that they can pay off their debts. And guess what? In season 1 there was also a participant who was shown to be joining the game along with his wife. Unfortunately his wife had to die to save him and he also decides to kill himself out of guilt and trauma. And I'm also getting a strong feeling that his mother will also have to sacrifice her life to possibly save her son. You can notice a guy holding a catholic rosary in his hand which can also be seen in the first season. There is a guy who was shown to be extremely extremely religious but in the end he turns out to be a hypocrite trying to win this game by using others as a bait. You killed those guys out there. And I have a feeling that this guy might also resemble the same character as this guy from season 1. You can notice the players taking a unique badge and they have different meanings. This one means you're interested to play this game. This one means you wanna quit. And guess what? In season 1, when most of the people decided to quit the game, they were sent back to their home but this time nobody was sent back. And there is a higher possibility that the majority of the people decided to play this game for which the others had to stay in this place. You can get to notice flickering lights inside the compound and people are panicking inside this place. A brawl is going on in the dark room. And the same thing also happened in season 1 when everyone was fighting against each other under the flickering light. And it means a lot of events from season 1 will be repeated in season 2. Another surprising thing is that you can get to see them fighting inside the washroom as well but in season 1 a lot of people were never allowed to get into the washroom. And I have no idea what can be the explanation behind this. So I just don't want to make a weird speculation on this. This is the front man overlooking the operation and if you zoom in you can notice this iconic jazz toy from season 1. It's nice to see that the production team didn't forget to put this thing right over there. I don't know what kind of game is that so I just don't want to make a weird speculation on this. But if you zoom in you can notice blood stain all over the place and there are also a bunch of footsteps towards the red circle in blood. And it makes me wonder that these people had to fight hard to get into the circle or stay inside the circle. This is a new guard who was teased for the first time like 
like a month ago, and he was shown to be overlooking the challenges on behalf of the frontman. And that makes me wonder that the frontman is probably going to be busy dealing with the counter plans of Sang Gihan. You can notice a bunch of flags in the back, and I have a feeling that these flags were representing the nationality of every winner of Squid Game starting from 1998. In case you don't know, the first Squid Game was held back in 1998, and it's not going to be wrong if I say that people from different countries probably have won this title throughout the years. You can notice Sang Gihan pretending to be dead, and right after that, he proceeds to attack the guard. And in the second trailer, you can notice these guys running to the dorm compound and taking cover. So I have a feeling that Sang Gihan probably started a gunfight after that. You can notice the special force breaking into the Squid Game compound through a bunker door, and all of them might be seen to be joining Sang Gihan in the gunfight. Look at the back, and you can notice two different paintings of the games they're about to play. Over here, as you can see, they have to jump from one point to another like a monkey, and there is another kind of painting of a game which looks like the design of a chessboard. Now, I have no idea what kind of game it will turn out to be, so I just don't want to make a weird speculation on that. I will just leave it to your imagination. You can notice the guards firing inside the dorm room, which is basically not allowed at all. But I have a feeling that they had to open fire after Sang Gihan decided to attack one of the girls during inspection. I have seen this trailer along with all the previous trailers to find out exactly who is going to be 001 in this new season. And guess what? The production team has instinctively hidden player number 001 from all the trailers and teasers. And then, this woman was never shown in any of the previous or new trailers adorned with the Squid Game uniform. And that makes me wonder that this woman is highly likely to be player number 001 in this new season. You can notice the salesman meeting Sang Gihan with a gun in his hand. And in case you don't know, by the end of season 1, Sang Gihan got to see this man on the subway. After that, he decided to chase after the man, although he fails to catch him in the end. So I have a feeling that the salesman later decided to meet Sang Gihan face to face to warn him to mind his own business. And these are the details and easter eggs that I've noticed in the final trailer of Squid Game Season 2. If you guys feel like I've missed on something, you can let me know in the comment section. <laughs> I'm <laughs>